My pleasure to welcome Lisa Mitchell. She is the Vice President of Kaufman Foundation and very passionate of promoting entrepreneurship throughout the globe. Lisa, pleasure to welcome you. Thank you. Here. I think you're the best person to ask this question since you have been around the entrepreneurial scene for a long time. Entrepreneurship has worked really well in Silicon Valley. What do you think are the challenges for a region like Michigan? <laughs> well, the reason, one of the key reasons that entrepreneurship works so well in Silicon Valley is in Silicon Valley, there's a history of the startup companies that become big never being arrogant about their size and therefore they're constantly interested in collaborating with the new startup guy down the street. There's, we see less of a um, arrogance with big companies in Silicon Valley and it, as we talk about in much of our writing at the foundation, it's about porous boundaries. Um, we believe that the entrepreneurial ecosystem is made up of universities, big companies, small companies, and government funding. Frankly, those four actors really being the same no matter where you are in the world, but the size of those boxes being different wherever you are in the world. But what we find is if there are porous boundaries between the universities, startup companies, and big companies, and relative to growth of startup companies, if those porous boundaries exist between startups and big companies, um, that's where we see entrepreneurship flourishing. There's a myriad of examples of huge companies, Cadence and Synopsys in the Valley, um, who never, large semiconductor companies that never took venture capital, but in fact their first customers were Intel, who funded the company and grew the company. So we really need to encourage, I think, it, it, which is difficult in hard times, but we really need to encourage this collaboration between big companies and startup companies everywhere in the rest of the world. I tell my friends in Europe um, who talk about the, the lack of willingness between big companies and startup companies to, to collaborate, I said, you know, it's the same in the middle of the United States. Um, Europe in the, in the middle of the United States is the same with only Boston really and the entire state of California is where we see a completely different culture of collaboration. You know, you talk about big corporations, uh, good or bad, I know Michigan has been uh, involved with the th big three, uh, but there is a yearning here for entrepreneurs who are in IT, who are in life sciences. Uh, how do you think uh, Michigan in particular could help you know, inculcate this uh, culture of entrepreneurship? Yeah. Well, Michigan it is doing a lot of the right things. Um, the New Economy Initiative was put together by a number of big foundations in Michigan and essentially came to the Kauffman Foundation and, and asked for us to help engage as a partnership with them and identify what are some of the critical elements that we could put in place in Michigan to help turn around the economy. One, and the most obvious that we've been working on, is literally bringing an awareness of entrepreneurship as an opportunity. Um, as many people know in this economy, we're hearing a lot about the accidental entrepreneur, the people who've lost their job in a big economy and frankly haven't been able to find any. Um, but unfortunately, many of those people don't know where to even start. So what we've been doing in Michigan relative to building awareness is putting together big workshops. I think more than 1,800 people by December will have been through Fast Track to the Future workshops. But that just gives them the inkling of what is it. Then what's most important is if they're really going to do it, they need to follow up, they need to participate in these ongoing workshops to figure out, you know, if I'm in a big company, I might not even, unless I'm a finance guy, I don't even know what dilution is. So if I take money from somebody else, what's going to happen to me? I don't know that. So those are the things that you're going to learn in participation in fast track workshops. It's really important that we start figuring out what are some of the critical competencies that are already on the ground in Michigan that we're not taking advantage of? There's a very rich life science community here. Um, we have a founder of Lipitor sitting in the room next to us. And he would tell you what's really difficult is in a big state like this, with Ann Arbor being um, separately located from Detroit and Wayne State University, it's very difficult to build those collaborations. So literally we need to take somewhat of an intellectual approach and start figuring out who are those keys to 
whether it be the biotech cluster or whether it be the clean energy cluster, how do we put these people together, start discussions, and in many cases what we're going to find is there's a significant amount of um, seed corn out there relative to startup ideas that in and of themselves aren't going to grow unless we create collaborative opportunities. Again, key lessons, I think, both from the Valley and the Northeast are collaborations. You know, many times you can't take a single compound and create a company if in the life science context. You need, in fact, to collaborate with a number of different scientists who all have different um, potential areas for a compound um, in one area. Same thing around wind. We need to find some material scientists that are out there if I remember right, um, GE has just put a wind energy um, uh, facility here. We need to start gathering the material scientists that are in Michigan, which are significant, tied to Next Energy, tied to University of Michigan and Ann Arbor, Michigan State, et cetera, put them together and start figuring out what do they have laying on the shelf that we can take off the shelf and start putting a team of entrepreneurs around. Is there a way for entrepreneurs to approach and leverage the resources provided by the Kaufman Foundation? Absolutely. Um, I mean, we have so many resources, sometimes it's even hard to start. I would encourage, um, we don't have any, we, Wayne State is the first university to participate in a program that we call um, the iBridge Network. The iBridge Network, um, there's a, a well-known gentleman that wrote a book called Here Comes Everybody, Clay Shirky is his name, in New York City. And Clay calls uh, the iBridge Network the Craigslist for innovation. And it was literally created in that context. How do we make sure that, there's, that we can take all of the stuff that's laying around the shelf and make it transparent and accessible to everybody? We would love to see University of Michigan participate. We would love to see Michigan State so that they can have um, entrepreneurs in the Valley, entrepreneurs in Texas, et cetera, know what's going on in their university relative to Michigan. Fast Track is another example. We have a uh, wonderful experience in a new Kaufman postdoctoral fellows program that we just started. And the idea of the postdoctoral fellows program, again, relative to both entrepreneurship and recovery, is that for the first time in this country, there are 47,000 postdocs. Um, that's highly skilled, probably underutilized talent. So um, we put out essentially a calling for those individuals that thought that they had a technology. And lo and behold, we've ended up having one postdoc that's here um, at the University of Michigan. And our hope is that we can have many, many more. We um, are in discussions with people in Washington about funding more postdocs again Thinking about recovery, thinking about high growth entrepreneurship is, is another opportunity. We have a clean energy boot camp that we run, um, focused specifically, again, in the high growth space of, of energy technology. Um, very seldom do we have applicants from Michigan to that program, and we would love to see that happen. Uh, our website is available. Uh, we love to create opportunities to link startup entrepreneurs with mentors. That's our a relationship that we began with the Thai organization was literally based upon an assumption that Thai is the best example in the world of real entrepreneurs helping other entrepreneurs. And so we're hoping to foster the relationship between Thai and Kaufman. We can therefore essentially build our networks out across the country and start figuring out how do we hook up some of these early stage entrepreneurs with real serial entrepreneurs, not as venture capitalists, not even as later stage board members, but as early advisors to help them figure out the hurdles of, of entrepreneurship. Lisa, thank you for your time. Appreciate that. Sure. Thank you. Thank you.